Tonight, it's Madden NFL Football. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. It's the Cincinnati Bengals taking on the Indianapolis Colts. It's the NFL on EA Sports, and there you get a look at Paycor Stadium on the banks of the Ohio River in Cincinnati. the punter Rigoberto Sanchez on to get us started and we are underway from Cincinnati I couldn't take the chance this will be returned from the goal line and beyond the 20 but not by much in fact just a yard pass there to the 21 the Bengals make their way out on offense for the first time led by their fifth year quarterback out of LSU Joe Burrow Burrow is coming off a year where he suffered his second season-ending injury over a four-year span. And while that's certainly concerning, there's certainly no denying he's truly one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL whenever he's on the field. However, for them to reach their full potential, he has to be out there because as long as he is, this team is a legitimate contender to win it all. Here's the first carry of the game for Zach Moss. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. An awful lot of congestion in the middle third of the field, but how about our defensive tackle right there? He didn't just hold the line. He provided some push and smacked the ball carrier down for a loss. The opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. They'll go again here with Moss. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. Burrow will throw. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. So on fourth down, on is Brad Robbins to punt for the Bengals. A deep to return is Josh Downs. Thirty-nine yards on the punt, give him just one yard on the return. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and ten. The Colts heading out for the first time behind their 22-year-old quarterback in his second season now in the NFL, Anthony Richardson. And we're talking about an uber-talented young quarterback, finally healthy after suffering a setback a season ago. Obviously, you'd love to have him on the field, but the time away may have been a blessing in disguise in terms of long-term development. And if you ask anyone around the Indianapolis camp, make no mistake about it, they have lofty expectations of this young man, and he is a big, big player in the Colts' future. Hey! 
Good starting field position for the Colts as they have it first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Richardson out of the shotgun. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. Launches deep. A jump ball, and this is caught. And he's going to be out of bounds all the way down inside the 15. A big play there for Andy. 52 yards. I guess we got a good idea about what the game plan is for attacking this secondary. No beating around the bush with this crew. His first throw of the game is a deep shot, and it connects. That's a tendency breaker right there because normally you build up to the big shot, but not in this case. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. There Richardson back to throw it. Throw over the middle. Going to be caught here by Mo Ali Cox. And the Colts are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. It's all pretty simple sometimes, isn't it? Go where the defenders are not. And he does exactly that. Makes a nice catch to move the chains. Defense. Got to find a better way of accounting for the shorter routes that are being run against them. From the two, here's first and goal. Here's Richardson to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, that's one way you take away a first down as a defender. Make sure you have a little bit of physical play and the ball gets to the receiver. Find a way to jostle it free. They caught him off guard, forced the incompletion. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Taylor is going to take this one in for a Colts touchdown. So that a great sequence for these guys to begin the ball game. They force the punt on one end and come right down the field and score on the other. And that's a great example of leaning on each other and building a little momentum that way. How about the defense forcing the punt? Turns it over to the offense with confidence, and they take it downfield and score. for the extra point. And this is good to make it 7-0 Indy. A drive there of just four plays. And it was capped off by a Jonathan Taylor touchdown. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got to look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. Now they go play action now. Burrow. Open man downfield is Chase. He's got it. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A very solid gain of 27. Yeah, that's a nice pickup there, especially when it comes on the heels of a three and out the first time you have the ball. They were determined to not have that happen again. And that's a nice throw for their first first down of the game. from Colts territory. Here's a first and 10 at the 47. They'll run on first down with Moss. 
And he's got it to the 43 here. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second and six. Play action. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Here we go. On third down, Burrow. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts' 24-yard line. The Bengals' passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Now Burrow on first down. He'll look to Gesicki on the out route. Ball is caught. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he could break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. This second and four. And Burrow going to throw again. That's complete. Once again, it's Kosicki. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And it's a real luxury when you have a guy who can turn a short throw into a solid gain at any moment. Once he caught that ball, he ID'd where the open grass was and got there in a hurry to pick up a new set of downs for his offense. Can, can. Can, can. Now a run with Hubbard. And he is in. Touchdown, Bengals. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Bengals are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. That's one of those long drives where not only do you score, but you really tire out the defense, too. That's a great point, because now they've been on the field for a long time. Them going to the bench, trying to make adjustments, trying to figure things out. But they'll do so fatigued. McPherson for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So that drives seven plays in length, and it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. Seven now as they kick it away. And Dallas Flowers going to bring this out of the end zone. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. 
This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look at repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Now Richardson. And incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. That looked great when he first took off because in my mind, there was room to run and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly and neither did he. They got to him just in time and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. As Sanchez on to punt here as he sends this one away. On oh, the return is Jones. A nice return that time of about 14 yards. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. Here we go, here we go. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. The partners, a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. Got a man, it's Brown. They'll get four there out of the screen and it's second down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing and they shut that one down with little gain. Here we go. Second down at six now from the 42. Now Burrow. Over the middle, he's got Gasicki, the big 6'5 tight end. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Nice hands displayed there by the former Penn State standout. And he's certainly hoping to get back on track now that he's playing in a Bengals offense that better suits his skill set. Again, it's Burrow. He'll swing this out to Moss. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. They'll go up the middle here with Moss. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. A nice effort and an even nicer stop from Quiddy Pay. Well, that's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility 
has him getting upfield and working, but how about his vision to see where the play was going, crashed down inside and tackled him for a loss. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Now it's Burrow. He's got a man that's caught left sideline. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five yard line. What an intelligent play as he found open grass and uncovered quickly. A nice clutch play to move the chains. The defense, they've got to do a much better job of accounting for these shorter routes. Moss is into the end zone for a Bengal touchdown. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. McPherson on for the point after. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So this drive spans seven plays, and it results in a four-yard touchdown run. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. And the Colts getting ready to go. That 7 nothing lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they get this game tied up. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive to about the 33-yard line. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Second down and six now. Again, it's Taylor. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. They'll say no gain on the play there. Now it'll be third down. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Richardson looking to throw. This pass left side to Downs. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. First time that they called his number tonight, and it gets him a first down. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yes. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did.
first and 10, Taylor now. And a decent gain there as that takes us to the two-minute warning. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to seven. Ball placed at the 45 for second and five. Richardson looking to throw this. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this ball recovered by the offense. But remember, they cannot advance it here in the final two minutes of the half. So this will be blown dead. And it'll come back to the spot of the fumble. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage. But I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. So danger averted for the moment, but now here's a third and long. Running straight ahead, Taylor. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. is Rigoberto Sanchez on fourth down to punt this thing. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Bengals take over first and 10. Zach Moss heading out to lead this offense. It's the second quarter. His team has the lead, but I think he's hoping for a little bit more production out of himself. And we often talk about preaching patience to a runner when things are a little bumpy in the early going, but we have to do the same thing with the offensive line. They can't wait to halftime to make the adjustments. They have to do it from series to series so those surface tablets come into play. <laughs> Check out what the defense is doing and see if they can find a better way to run it. So they search for that patience here now. First down, here's Burrow. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Here we go, here we go. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Off the play fake, here's Burrow. And his throw here is incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Now it's Burrow. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. On now to punt, Brad Robbins. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Colts going to take over now late in this first half. With this slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half, we'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive. First and 10, Richardson looks to throw it. That's complete to Pierce. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Get it. 
One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Now it's Richardson. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Richardson. He's got his man. It's Pierce. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. And he went in route there from the slot for the completion. Love how he runs his routes because it's all setting up your defender. Give him a little something one way, take it the other way. Head and shoulder fake. Sometimes you make one step to the outside, then break it inside. Really well run route. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. Gay's kick is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half is the kick is away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. will tick by in this first half. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. In that first half, it was Zach Moss who proved to be tough to stop. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. getting the football first and they trail here as we are back underway in quarter number three on the return here's Dallas Flowers and makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23 yard line out come the Colts they'll have it first here to start quarter number three and they're still very much in this game although they do trail what's the game plan Charles for the second half it might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. 
have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Now second and nine. Back to throw. Richardson. Throw taken in by Taylor left side. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. It'll be a loss of six yards on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. And we constantly talk about people being on the same page. In this situation, the two of them saw the play with the same eyes. They understood where the open spaces were going to be, and they found a way to get there to pick up a new set of downs. A nickel look now for the Bengals as they try to stop them here on third down. Operating from the gun, Richardson. They'll find his man, that's Taylor again. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he's on to punt for Indianapolis. Shedding through the defense. It's a 39-yard punt, eight on the return, and they will take over first and 10. So here are the Bengals now as they get their first possession of this second half. Bengals with a first and 10 at the 40. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Oh, he'll let one go deep for Higgins. And he's got it inside the 10. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. T. Higgins, 60 yards. And the Bengals are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Hey, when you're thinking about your opening drive in the third quarter, you're thinking about exactly that, putting together a drive. But instead, what did we get? Big pass downfield, touchdown. I, I thought, okay, you know, just sitting back in my chair, let's get eased in, a couple runs, no, boom. Yeah, forget the body blows, folks. Let's throw the big shot right now. And McPherson on for the extra point. It's good, and it's 21-10. Those are the kind of drives they like on offense from the coordinator to the quarterback, the line, everybody. One play drive and into the end zone for six. Touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. They'll look to make some inroads here, trailing 21 to 10 as they come up on a first and 10. Go. 
They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's going to get about seven yards on that one up to around the 33. So that time they got the left guard with a hold. And let's face it, in today's ball, you might have that 330-pound guy you're supposed to clear out of there. You might need a little bit of extra help by grabbing the jersey and trying to ride him out. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. Looking to throw, Richardson. He'll drop this down to Taylor. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. On second down, it's Taylor. It's a gain of maybe three, but it's going to leave him with still about eight or nine to go on third down. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Back to throw. Richardson, that one finds Pierce right side. And almost, but not quite. Needed 10, he got nine. Fourth down. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. A 40-yard punt, one yard on the return, and out will come the offense as they take over. T. Higgins out on offense with the rest of his teammates for this next drive. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game, but so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good, but there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, they feel like they're somewhat keeping him in check, but he has found the end zone once. But boy, he can explode at any moment. Yeah, when you hit that end zone once, you want to find it again, don't you? <laughs> yes, makes, you do. Makes you get you hungrier. You, you get greedy in a good way. They'll start on the ground with Moss. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. They go play action with Burrow. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Back-to-back go. -back good plays. Have them on the move on first down. Moss on the give up the middle. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. And they'll send the slot in motion left. 
Here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give up the middle. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Here's third and six. Burrow looking to pass. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 36. Ten yards there on a Bengal first. Well, we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Show some confidence, supreme confidence. Big time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. And that's going to be caught. T. Higgins. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. 23 yards, the final tally. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Here's Burrow. On the right side open is Gasicki. Just a gain of a couple there. And it's second down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Here we go, here we go. Second down and eight. Here we go. Again, it's Burrow. Over the middle, that's caught by Chase. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. Here we go. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. He's got his target, that's complete. Touchdown, Bengals! Trenton Irwin from six yards away. And the Bengals have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. I've heard you use the term put-away drive, and that right there seemed like the definition of a put-away drive. Yeah, it certainly just pops right up out of the book, doesn't it? Because up two scores already, just wanted to possess the football, keep converting and picking up first downs, and if the drive ends in three points, that's terrific. If it ends in a touchdown, fantastic. McPherson now for the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. That time, a nine-play drive. And it ends with a Bengals score. Half 
after the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Now a throw over the middle, and he's got it to start the drive. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league... A loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Fast, slow, it doesn't matter. If you give a quarterback enough room to escape, he can hit you for a big gain. You've got to give him a little more focus moving forward. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Looking to throw. Richardson. Now they go screen. It's complete. It's got a good stiff arm and some space to run. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Well, they've certainly had their share of troubles running the football in this one, but this play is almost an extension of the running game right here. They set up the screen, let him work out in space on the perimeter, and he turns it into a big pickup. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Operating from the gun, Richardson. He finds his man complete. It's Pierce. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Back to throw, Richardson. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Anthony Richardson, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Colts have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you'd kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. And that one makes this an 11-point deficit now. Five plays there on that drive. And it was Anthony Richardson who took it into the end zone to finish things off. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And this is going to be snuffed out. The Bengals recover. 
A risk reward of the onside kick. When you don't get it, the risk comes out to play, and here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them, and field position leads you to that type of play calling, and whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage has switched to their opponent. First and 10, here's Brown. Down to about the 37. Good push from the offensive line, and they've done well so far to build this lead. Now, they've got to get things to the finish line. And that's a solid pick up there to begin the drive. Here we go. From the 37, they work on second and six. On the give, this is Moss. And he will get enough for a first down, and that will lead us to the two-minute warning. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. Points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Second and 12, and you'd have to assume another all-out effort to stop the run is coming. Right back to Moss. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They'll run out of the gun with Moss. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Now the Colts will use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. It's Moss, and they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Oh, the motion comes too late, and this is going to be a delay. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. the delay they're backed up even further for third and long here's a give to Moss out of the shotgun no gain there on the play and that's going to leave them with a fourth down what an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free 
but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. So on fourth down, off goes Burrow. On comes Evan McPherson for the Bengal field goal. This just a 35-yard attempt from the left hash. McPherson's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they're forced into taking the three. But you didn't mention four touchdowns, right? So four out of five, not too bad. I think that's a pretty good record for them. to the made field goal. Here's McPherson to send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. First and ten. Here's Richardson. He's going to let it fly. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Just kind of a wing and a prayer there. This ball's kind of up for grabs, but they're at a point where they have to live with that. And fortunately, this one winds up incomplete. They'll come up now on second down. Richardson to throw it. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that almost their first INT in the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. One last shot for Richardson. Let's one go downfield for Pierce. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. So this one in the win column now for the Cincinnati Bengals. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just the week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Bengals as we say so long from Cincinnati.